We'll see how this game plays out as they get ready for the opening kickoff. Excellent kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. So the Badgers and their ground game's always been sensational. It's not always one guy, Herbie. Sometimes they've got two or three that can carry the load. And that's what makes it so tough for this defense is you're not focusing in on just one guy. You're focusing in on really an entire scheme. And because of that diversity, I think it makes it more of a challenge. And you've got to be better tacklers in the open field. And, and I think that's really what they've stressed all week is tackling and gang tackling and getting to the football. Hard to get to guys and make tackles in space. Taylor picks up a yard on the play. Second and nine. Ball on their own 26. Nice run, and he's brought down. Call it a gain of four yards. Third down. Now he tries to buy some time. Tackle made around the 35-yard line. And they convert the first down on that run. Now the key to that play is a good blocking up front by the Hog Mollies. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 35-yard line. And he makes it out to about the 37-yard line. Gaining two yards. That makes it second and eight. And he is drilled at the 35-yard line. Loss of two on the run by the halfback. That brings us third and ten. And so it's another third down upcoming here. He lets it go. Stays in bounds to make a nice catch. And they pick up the first down with a pass to the tight end. It's easy to forget about the tight end sometimes coming off the line. But you always have to watch this guy because he's certainly capable of making big plays. And they make the stop around the 40-yard line. They move the sticks after another first down. Impressive drive by this offense so far. I really like what they're doing by keeping this defense on their heels and moving the ball downfield. He makes his way to about the 32. It's the ninth play of the drive. Decent pickup from the 28 yard line. It's first down. Got a man, watch out here. Well designed route and a confidently thrown football by the quarterback. You need those things to make any offense work. It's the 11th play of the drive. And down he goes, right around the 16-yard line. From the 16-yard line, first down. They'll bring him down for a loss on the play. The way the safety was playing up toward the line of scrimmage shows you what they think of the offense's passing game. Not a lot of respect for it. Play 13 of the current drive. He's on the run. And they push him out at the 13. So far this drive, the defense has been unable to stop them on third down. Shot 
Shaw takes it up the middle. He's taken down around the 14-yard line. I think a corner loves to have a chance to come up and make a play in the run game. So often they get labeled as just great athletes and they just want to be involved in the passing game and being able to defend a, a receiver. Here you see an attitude from this corner as he comes up, reads the play, and makes the play in the backfield. And the field goal is good. Wisconsin kicked this one off. Sends it sailing downfield. He's to the 20. Tackle made at the 25-yard line. So let's see what the offense can do as they come out onto the field. They keep it on the ground with a tailback. He makes it to the 28-yard line. Second down and seven. Ball on the 28-yard line. Scrambling around, heading for the corner. He's to the 40. He's at midfield. And he's taken down at about the 43-yard line. What a run by the quarterback. Boy, this guy is dangerous. He can hurt you by running or throwing. There you can see how talented he is as a runner. The play breaks down. He didn't panic or get flustered. He just tucks it in and picks up a nice game. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 43. Brought down right around the 28-yard line. The pass results in a first down. I'll tell you, great call by the coaches on first down. It stretches the defense when they're expecting the run, and then they end up with another first down. First and 10. Ball on the 28. He's into the open field. He gets out to about the 17-yard line. Got a man complete, and he's hit hard. Second and six. Ball on the 13-yard line. They'll spread the field with five wide. Steps out of bounds around the 10-yard line. Touchdown, MSU! And did that play ever develop nicely? Well, it's all about the receiver on this play. He beat his man off the line and then ran a perfect route. All he had to do after that was make the catch. And he hits the PAT. So a seven-play, 75-yard drive, and a touchdown as a result. Brad, I thought that was a textbook drive. I thought they did a really good job of showing balance, mixing the play calling with the run and the pass. Just an overall well-executed touchdown drive. He's taken down at the 21-yard line. You never like to have to play from behind, but a deficit this manageable shouldn't be in the front of their minds. They just need to go out there and play. He's tackled at about the 19-yard line. Lost of two yards on the play. That'll bring up second and 11. From their own 19-yard line, second down. Off, up the middle. Runs right for a nice game. Gets 
get to that quickly. I'll tell you something. I'm loving this quarterback's confidence more and more as this game goes on. He's really throwing the ball with some purpose. First down, 10 to go. Ball on their own 37. Quick throw. Tackle right around the 42-yard line. Stuffed. Loss of score on the play. That'll make it a third and nine. And here's another third down. Throws complete and he stopped immediately. So close, but they fall short of the first down. you got to throw the ball a little deeper next time. Don't take any chances of coming up short. Barnett is back to receive. He really got a hold of that one. This punt bounces into the end zone, and this will be a touchback. Michigan State's offense deserves all the credit in the world. You come into a crowd like this, and they didn't keep them from doing the job at hand. They got points on that opening march. Just really impressive. It, considering this is, I think, one of the toughest environments in all the college football, that's a job well done. Now they've got to continue to try to build off of that opening drive. He's brought down in the open field. From their own 23-yard line, second down, Michigan State is up four. He's tackled at the 25. Credit those two defenses in that first quarter or blame the offenses for a lack of production. The Spartans lead it by four. And we're ready for more football here in quarter number two. He throws it away. They're going to be forced to punt it away here. The defense held their ground on that play. The quarterback just wasn't able to find any open receivers. Booming kick. Oh, what a hit. Not great, but not bad either. As long as your main priorities are not turning the ball over and establishing solid field position, then you're headed in the right direction. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. He makes it out to maybe the 39-yard line. The draw play gets maybe two yards. That brings up second and nine. Second and nine coming up here. Ball on the 39-yard line. Mike 35, Mike 35. Cut. 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 Fires incomplete. That's just a shame. The receiver did his job. He's able to get a step on the defender, but the ball was underthrown. He guns it right side. Almost picked off. That'll bring up fourth and nine. The punting team's got to give their kickers some time. They bring him down, and they bring him down hard on that one. There hasn't been too much daylight between these two teams. In games like this, some players try to press too much, and that can cause mistakes. Michigan State holds a four-point lead. Fires out quick. It's picked off to the 10. Touchdown, Badgers. How about the play by the defender? That was a great interception and an even better effort to bring the ball back for a touchdown.
Trying to go up by three. They'll kick the extra point. And he adds the extra point. Wisconsin is ready to kick it away. He just drills this one. He's to the 20. Brought down at the 23-yard line. I just love to watch this defense play. They've been flying all over the field today, making big play after big play. The crazy thing is we still have such a close game despite how well they play. Let's see how the defense responds now, coming off that big play just a moment ago. This quarterback needs to be a little bit more careful because this defense is excellent on capitalizing off of mistakes. They'll bring him down around the 25-yard line. It's second and nine. Ball on their own 25. He makes it out maybe to the 26-yard line. Fires quick to an open man. He dropped it. They'll bring him down at the 43-yard line. Wisconsin staff right now, I would think, going into halftime, Kirk's got to be happy. I mean, here's their guy not having the kind of game he's used to having. But if they can get in the lead, I think they'd go right back to it. And to think that this team at this point has the lead, and, and considering the way their superstar has played, they've got to feel pretty good heading into halftime, knowing that it's a matter of time until their, their bell cow starts to really start to hit on all cylinders. And I wouldn't be shocked at all. You know, even though they have the lead, and he hasn't played well, you go into the second half, you still got to try to get him his touches and his carries and hope that eventually he catches fire. And who knows what this offense is really capable of doing today. He gets out to about the 37-yard line. First and 10, ball on the 37-yard line. Wisconsin is up by three. Tackle made at about the 29-yard line. run up the middle that's going to be a first down the back got about five yards on the play I think that's the third time he's carried the ball in this drive and I can imagine they'll keep giving it to this guy until the defense can figure out how to stop him he makes it out to maybe the 23 yard line we've got a second and nine here ball on the 23 yard line On the ground and he won't get back to the line. Big play there, and now they're looking at first and goal. The 
This is the eighth play of this drive. Throws it and it's tipped away. Superb effort and really when it matters most. These guys don't want to give up points so easily. It's second and goal. About a yard to Pater. They're crowding that line of scrimmage. Touchdown, Wisconsin! He makes the PAT. A nine play, 56 yard drive, and they add seven points to the scoreboard. So our score, 17 7. Looks like they're ready for the kick. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. He's to the 20. He makes it out to maybe the 23 yard line. Boy, this is a competitive game. It's fun to watch these two teams go back and forth. Just when you think one team has the edge, the other gets right back into it. This is exciting. They were forced to punt the ball away the last time they had it. They'll be looking for a little more out of their offense on this possession. Runs it and tackled in the backfield. By the time the running back here got the football, he's looking up and he's got a couple defensive linemen closing in on him because they were able to slip off of their blocks. Really, there's nothing he could do at all there. That was more of a miscommunication and just getting overmatched up front by the offensive line. Second down and 11. Ball of the 22. They come out in an empty backfield. Fires quickly and he's got his man. He's taken down around the 42-yard line. When you can move the ball downfield in big chunks like that, you've got the defense right where you want them. It's first and 10. Ball on the 42. Quick throw to the back, it's incomplete. That is such a big mistake by this quarterback. It makes me really wonder if maybe he saw something in the middle of his delivery when he was trying to throw that football. That is very rare to see a quarterback put such a touch on the ball that he underthrows his receiver by that much. He scrambled. Now he's going to run and watch out. And he hits him hard at the 49. It's third down, and they're about two yards shy of the sticks. And down he goes at the 43. There are five wide receivers split out. The quarterback in the gun. Out of bounds around the 39-yard line. Second and six coming up here. Ball on the 39-yard line. Tackle outside after a nice pickup. Here's the eighth play of the series. He throws it. Incomplete. It's knocked down by the defense. They'll call on the field goal unit. And they can make this a one possession game with this kick right here. He gets it up. No good. He pushed it to the right. So it's time to see this offense go to work again. This defense couldn't stop them from moving the ball and inevitably finding the end zone. Draw play, and the defense was ready for it. 
Wisconsin's going to take their first time out of the half. Two minutes left in the half. Caught with room to work. Fumble. Scooped up by the offense. And he's taken down around the 46-yard line. Six yard line. First down. Throws middle to the tight end. And he's immediately tackled. That's a D4. That brings him second and five. Out to his receiver. From the 32 yard line, first down. Stays in bounds to make a nice catch. hit and taken down. Nice job of picking up the Mike linebacker blitz and hitting his man for the first down. From the 11-yard line, it's first down. And he throws it away. And this is the eighth play of the drive. Tackled at the two-yard line. To the end zone, touchdown! And he tacks on the extra point. A nice nine play, 66 yard drive, and they come away with a touchdown. So the score now, 24 7. Wisconsin kick this one off. He's to the 20. At the 30. Knocked out of bounds, right around the 48 yard line. Things are on the verge of getting out of hand before we even hit the half. These next few drives are going to go a long way in determining what kind of game this will end up being. He steps out at the 48-yard line. From the 48-yard line, second down. And he's tackled at the 40-yard line. So the pass is complete for an eight-yard gain and a first down. It's the protection up front that allowed this play to happen. The line controlled the rush, and it gave the quarterback an opportunity to deliver a very nice throw. And he is drilled at the 29. This passing game can be very effective if you don't get enough pressure on the quarterback. They use their personnel well and can be very tough to defend. They'll spread the field with five wide. Steps out of bounds at the 26-yard line. It's second and seven. Ball on the 26-yard line. He launches one for the end zone. Missed him. He heaves 
it to the end zone. It's knocked away, incomplete. The field goal unit's out on the field, and they're going to try to get these guys three points before halftime. The kick is up, and he nails the long field goal. They line up to kick this one away. He's to the 20. And he's taken down at the 19. Well, we've played a half of football. Wisconsin's in front by 14. we played 30 minutes. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. David Pollock and I here in the studio to break down everything that just happened in your game. The pass rush of both teams has been totally negated in the first half. Neither team has been able to come up with a sack. So what's the D-line coach right now preaching to you guys up front, you big fellows who love to go there and make life miserable for a quarterback? Well, you got to watch the football and get off it as soon as you can and try to get that first step quickness because I know those guys are big and strong, but they're also a little bit chunky. And if you're on the defensive line and you're, you're a little bit slimmer and you get off the football a little bit faster, but try to get off that ball quick. And it's not just sacks, Reese. How about you affect the quarterback? How about you, you bull rush your guy and you put him in his lap and you make him throw over top or, you know, change the throwing angle so he doesn't have a clean pocket where he can step up in there and make big throws the whole game. You've got to do something, something different than you did the first half to affect the quarterback. David and I will be keeping an eye on your game and everything else going on in the country here in our palatial and comfortable surroundings in the studio. The best seat in the house belongs to Brad Nessler in Kirk Herb Street. Welcome back, everybody. Second half action about to begin. Hayward fields at the goal line. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. Nice run, and he's brought down. Hayward gains about four yards on the play. From their own 29-yard line, second down. And now he pitches it. And he's shoved out of bounds at the 36. That's a game of seven on the play. That makes it first and ten. Delivers to the halfback on the screen. And they make the stop at the 48. Number five brings him down at the 48 yard line. From their own 48 yard line. First down. Throws complete. He's hammered. That'll make it second and four. He makes it out to maybe the 46-yard line. They're about four yards away here on third down. Gets out to around the 38. That's a game on the play. First down. Got some open field. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. That'll make it second and four. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. He's out of bounds at the 30-yard line. 
We're at play number nine of this current drive. Quick pass. He's pushed out of bounds at about the 21. The middle linebacker came on a blitz, which can be very disruptive. Sometimes a quarterback will get happy feet when they see that coming, but not this guy. He's very composed and can deliver under a pass rush. Very good tackle in space. That makes it first and goal. First down, and they've got their eyes on that goal line. Quick throw, almost intercepted. And that one probably should have been picked off. Yeah, are you kidding me? There's a blanket around that receiver. Somebody else had to be open. And this is the 12th play of the drive. The sub package in there defensively in this five wide receiver set. And it's almost picked off. This guy's got to just feel awful, dropping an easy interception in the end zone. The best thing that he could do now is go to his teammates and hope that they're able to get him back up and get ready to play that next play. field goal and this is nothing more than a chip shot kicks up and he's got it Michigan State ready to kick this one off and he got all of this one great kick this one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback The offense is coming out on the field, and they haven't had any problem finding the end zone lately. Tackled after a decent run up the gut. That makes it second and six. Second down and six. Ball on their own 29. Gets it out to his receiver in a hurry. Scoops up the loose ball. Tackle at the 32. That's a pretty big mistake, and this offense will lose possession of the football. Sloppy job by the ball carrier. First and foremost, you should always be concerned about the ball. They're going to review this fumble, and I've got to tell you, I think he was down before the ball popped loose. I don't know about this one, Brad. They called it a fumble on the field, and they need indisputable video evidence to overturn this call. After reviewing the play, the ruling on the field is reversed. So the call on the field will be reversed. First and ten. Ball on the 39. He makes it out to maybe the 39-yard line. No gain. That makes it second and 10. Tight right, tight right. Three down, three down. Looks middle, got his back. Brought down at the 44. Third down. So it's third down now, and they're going to need about four. Throwing right. They can't connect. Incomplete. Excellent series by this defense, forcing them to go three and out. And the offense really struggled on this drive. They're going to have to pick it up if they want to move the ball on these guys. Certainly they don't have the return on here. He gets hit out of bounds at the 24. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. 
They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. They'll bring him down right around the 32-yard line. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. Five wide. Oh, great catch. There's a very impressive open field tackle. Nelson makes the tackle at the 49-yard line. First down. from their own 49-yard line. First down. Makes it to the 41. That's a team of 10 and a That'll make it second and inches. Caught and out of bounds after a short game. First and ten. Ball on the 36. Fires it out to the tight end and he's got the first. Tackle made around the 17-yard line. That makes it first and ten. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 17-yard line. And they got him for a loss. strike and he drops it and this play is number eight on the drive he's taken down right around the 16 yard line they'll call on the field goal unit here and they can make this a one possession game with this kick right here. He gets it up and it sails through the uprights. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. He's to the 20, tackle made at the 22 yard line. It's going to be interesting to see how the action shakes out in this series. Wisconsin is up by eight. He sails it long. Almost picked off. From their own 22-yard line. Second down. And he tackles him hard at the 30. And down he goes around the 33 yard line. From their own 33 yard line, it's first down. And he can't get away from the pressure.
Second down, 10 to go. Ball on their own 32. complete again to his tight end and he's taken down at the 44 yard line it's first and ten ball on the 44 Wisconsin holds an eight-point advantage And they'll get him in the backfield. Loss of two yards on the play. That'll bring up second and 12. Here's the eighth play of the series. Slings it to his tight end, but he drops it. We head to the final quarter, and we've got a great game on our hands. Wisconsin's up by eight. Welcome back to the action here as we resume play here in quarter number four. And he's tackled right around the two-yard line. I love to see this quarterback respond when this offense really needs him to pick him up. Your quarterback's performance on third down is vital to your team's success. Now he tries to buy some time, and he's level at the seven. That's a loss of five yards. That brings up second and goal. Second down and goal. Ball on the seven yard line. He's going to try and scramble. He's tackled at the two. Here's the 12th play of the drive. Wisconsin up by eight. Players in there, got it, touchdown. And he converts the extra point. to kick this one away. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. They'll take over here, ready to start a new series. He's on the run. They bring him down. I think that one's on the offensive line. They've got to do a better job of holding their blocks, or else this quarterback's going to be pulling turf out of his face mask all game. From their own 20-yard line, second down. Zips it to the back. And they make the stop at about the 23-yard line. Catch 
catches it and hit immediately for a loss. That's going to bring up fourth down. Just a great job by the defense. These guys are disguising their defense so well that they're confusing the quarterback and the offensive line. Booming kick. And he just got stood up right there. So the Badger staff has got to be ecstatic. Whether it's Chess or Checkers, they're playing out there today. They're winning. Well, this defensive staff trying to slow down this offense came in with a mindset of stopping the running game, first and foremost. And unfortunately for this defense, they've lost a battle out on the perimeter. And right now, they're giving up too many big plays through the air. Gets out to around the 45. From the 45-yard line, first down. He is drilled at the 34-yard line. Caught in a big hit. He stopped in his tracks. Second and five. Ball on the 29-yard line. at the 24-yard line. Tackled after decent pickup. That's good for a gain of four yards. That makes it second and six. Second and six coming up here. Ball on the 20. Nice run, and he's brought down. With a quick throw. Oh, he had a shot at the pick. Number six, the intended receiver on the play. Second down and ten to go. Ball on the 13. And he's tackled after positive yardage. This is the ninth play of this drive. Picked off. This isn't much more than an extra point. The kick is up, and the field goal is good. Wisconsin lines up for the kickoff. Excellent kick. He's to the 20, looking for the corner, and he's taken down at the 26-yard line. Both sides have made their way back out, and we're just about set to get going again. Flares it, and it almost had it intercepted. From their own 26-yard line, second down. Quick out to the receiver, and he can't make the grab. Here's the 
Here's a screen pass. Gets it to the back. Brought down at the 28. He's to the 40. He gets out to about the 42-yard line. Last drive resulted in a field goal, and the offense will come back out looking to do one better. They keep it on the ground with a tailback. They'll bring him down for a loss on the play. Second down and 11. Ball on their own 42. Just under three to go in regulation. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. Pulls it in, and he's in the open field. Out of bounds at the 48-yard line. That makes it fourth and four. Barnett will be the return man. He makes it out to maybe the 23-yard line. You know they'd like to do something a little more than they did on their last drive when they had to punt the ball away. Gets it out to his receiver in a hurry. They'll bring him down at the 29. Tackle made at the 46. This guy has that innate ability to get just enough distance from a defender to make a completion possible. You don't see it from every receiver, but this guy's got it. And he's immediately tackled. Just over a minute in the fourth quarter. Wide open, he drops it. From the 41-yard line, it's second down. Pulls down the catch, and he's got room here. He's knocked out of bounds around the 29-yard line. This one's going deep to the end zone. Touchdown, Spartans. And the quarterback stays on the field as they try for the two-point conversion. Here we go again. Here we go again. He's in for the conversion. A few moments ago, it looked like this team was done. And now they're only down two scores, and they've got the ball back plus momentum. It just shows you how fast things can change. He gets sacked on the play. They get to the quarterback and end that play before it even got started. This young man didn't even have a chance to make something happen. It's tough to find your receivers when the defense is in your face like that. He wants it all. The defender had it and then dropped it. 
It's third and long. Ball on the 29-yard line. Under a minute left in the game. They'll make the sack. Absolutely perfect call by the defensive coordinator. He brought just the right amount of pressure from the right direction, and it seemed to confuse the offense. The Cavalry's coming. So a fourth down stop there late in the fourth quarter, and that should do it. And they're going to have to give the ball back after going for it on fourth and long. Not much you can do there. you got to go for it and give yourselves a chance. Nine times out of ten, the defense will make a stop on that play. But, you know, based on the situation, this offense did have to go for it. The quarterback leads the offense back out onto the field as we get set to resume play. And this should be a kneel down as they just try to kill the clock. The quarterback takes a knee, and that's always a good sign if you're a fan of this team. It's second down, 12 to go. Ball on the 24. And he'll just take a knee here to kill the clock. He's taken down at the 26. should do it. Our final tally in this one. 34-24 Wisconsin. That brings this broadcast to a close. For EA Sports and Kirk Herb Street, I'm Brad Nessler. We'll see you soon for another edition of NCAA Football 14.